Aloha. Welcome back to Maverick. But what the hell was that? Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another kind of junk food review. Today, Maverick Baking is reviewing Maverick snacks. Maverick snacks. Yeah. So I came across these snacks totally by accident when I was tagging. This is this is really sad. I was tagging myself in one of my own Instagram pictures and the brand Maverick's snacks came up and I was like, sorry, what? So I went and investigated and it turns out this brand with this giant thunderbolt color scheme and name that I love have just started releasing snacks in Sainsbury's and other local supermarkets. So obviously we're gonna try them. So Mavericks appear to be making healthy, more natural kind of snacks and replacement for junk foods. So Mavericks had a huge range of snacks. They had sweet and savory. Because this channel is usually more leaning towards the sugary side of life, we've gone for the sweet snacks. So we have some orange and strawberry flavored popcorn, which is wild. And we also have some tiny little bags of healthier, smart cookies, whatever they are. So I'm going to try this orange popcorn first. This I just couldn't walk away from. No one's making orange flavored popcorn, so you've got to try it. It's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's got fiber. There's no added sugar at all, which is, it's not GMO and it's not junk food and all this kind of stuff. So it's a healthier take on something that should taste good. We hope. <laughs> My hopes have been dashed. <laughs> this honestly smells like you have just juiced a fresh orange. Not that that's something I do very often. <laughs> I don't live that bougie lifestyle. But also the appearance is quite disconcerting. When I saw poppin' corn, I thought it meant actual popcorn. But this looks more to be like a what's it or a Cheeto kind of texture, but it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, so the bag, as always with these kind of snacks, is a little bit kind of lacking in product. The whole bag itself weighs only 12 grams, but hopefully the taste will make up for the strange texture and small bag. So let's try this orange popping corn stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh wow, that is bad. <laughs> oh my God. I am quite sad now because like I said, when I opened it, I really expected this to be popcorn because popcorn is delicious, it's crunchy. These literally look and taste like unsweetened orange flavored Watsits. They even taste like stale Watsits. When you put it in your mouth and you bite it, it just kind of disintegrates into this tangy foam and then sticks to your teeth and <coughs> yeah no that's that's quite enough of that I think let's move on to the strawberry flavor yay <laughs> so before we move on to the cookies this other blue bag of pop and corn is strawberry flavor I have even less expectations for this after tasting the orange one Ugh. Ugh. It smells like strawberry milkshake powder if you removed all the fun and happiness from it. In here, instead of the bright orange snack, we have this kind of baby pink snack. Um, again, what I'd hoped would be popcorn is actually just pink watsits and... And they taste even worse. Holy shit. <laughs> Imagine a Watsit or a Cheeto, if you're from elsewhere in the world or any other kind of baked maize or corn snack. It's that horrendous kind of dissolving texture without enough salt or enough seasoning, you know, whether it's savory or sweet, with just the tiniest hint of strawberry milkshake powder in the background. The texture's bad, the taste is bad. Oh my God, this is bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna taste the cookies in a second but I have to give this Mavericks pop and corn a one out of five. Let's move on. So we also have these smart cookies, which surely, surely to God, they have, they have to be better. 
These are mini coconut cookies and mini chocolate chip cookies. I think I'm gonna try the coconut ones first. So I don't really know why these are called smart cookies. Again, they're vegan, they're high in fiber, there's no GMO ingredients and stuff like that. For some reason that makes them smart. So <laughs> let's try these coconut cookies and hope that they're better than the popping corn. Super strong, sweet coconut smell. So this is what they look like. Again, not, you know, the best presentation I've ever seen. It's mostly just a kind of bizarre, lumpy cookie thing. They smell good. Do they taste good? They do, yay. That is so much better. Holy shit. Super coconutty, crisp, crunchy, sweet, buttery. It almost tastes like a coconut shortbread. And it's a very impressive kind of buttery flavor for being completely vegan. This is what I wanted from this brand. I'm very happy with these. Let's taste the chocolate chip ones. They seem to look much the same as the coconut ones, but hey, guess what? They've got chocolate chips in them. Again, nothing too pretty, just a kind of cookie stick. Let's see how they taste. Not great, like not great at all. So these ones aren't even vegan. They are again high in fiber because they add that kind of chicory root fiber stuff to everything, but much less of that buttery flavor. And this is gonna sound really strange, but they almost have a kind of seaweedy taste. I don't know if that's from the chicory root. They have this kind of salty, earthy texture to them and like not in a good way. How can you get a bag of chocolate chip cookies wrong? Basically, while I love the idea, you know, a healthier grab and go snack and blah, blah, blah. These are trash, do not buy them. Just buy Maryland cookies and eat less of them, I guess, if you want a healthier snack. Or if you like coconut, these ones are actually worth a taste because they taste as advertised and I would be quite happy to eat those anytime. Overall, again, though I love the packaging, I love the branding, I love the idea. These are trash, these are good. So I think overall we're gonna give these Mavericks smart cookies a three out of five. Let me know if you've seen this brand anywhere. At the moment, I think they're only available online and in Sainsbury stores. Um, let me know if you tasted them, if you've seen them, what you think. Um, let me know if you want two bags of sweet flavored Watsits because I ain't finishing those. <laughs> As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing if you are new because we're doing junk food reviews, recipes, vlogs, and all sorts of stuff all the time. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get um, a better snack and I'll see you next time.